So you want to find out about firing times and where it is safe and not safe to walk on Dartmoor if the army are out live firing. Do a Google search, Dartmoor live firing times. We've already started it from before. So then you go to the first one, Dartmoor live firing dot gov there. And then just simply scroll down to this tab here. And this shows you uh, from the 11th of July to 31st of July, 1st of August, until the 21st of August. So, you know, effectively, what's that, about six odd weeks, something like that. So you can see that the month of August, there is no firing whatsoever. You can see that in July, the Oakhampton range, there is no firing. You can see the Willsworthy range has quite a lot of firing going on there. You can see if it says day and night, um, firing day, day, no firing, no, no, day and night. So you can see, uh, you know, when it's safe to walk on the Willsworthy range and quite literally not very much. Uh, in the month of uh, July, uh, the 15th, 16th, 17th is fine. And then you have the Merivale rain. And again, they're very busy in the month of July. So you need to, you know, be very careful what you're doing and not walk in those areas. Now, if you go to firing locations down here, go to Dartmoor Map of Dartmoor training area and range. So if we open this here, so here you can see the areas and these will be marked out on your ordnance survey or harvest map, or even on your um, phone mapping if you've got some half decent mapping there. So A is the Oakhampton range, which is this massive area right here. And this area, generally speaking, they're not firing there too often. But obviously, just be prepared that, you know, from time to time, they will use that area. So you need to check. Uh, Willsworthy is this small area here. C, they use this area, but again, a bit like um, A for Oakhampton. They don't use it a huge amount, but, you know, they do use it quite a bit. And then the Maryvale range is this B section down here. And uh, this one they use a lot. Um, so you probably do need to be very careful, you know, and watch out for the flag. So obviously, if you forget to check, then when you get there, you will see flags raised up on different tours. And if the flags are up, then obviously you don't go past those red and yellow markers that are in the ground spaced out every couple of hundred meters or so you know around these firing areas so this is just a quick fairly basic overview of the firing ranges where they are you know what to look out for and how to find you know which areas you know are firing from and obviously to make sure you avoid those areas and don't go on them at all. And if you are on them when they're not firing, obviously just keep an eye out and don't touch anything that doesn't look, you know, <laughs> non-explosive as it were. So, you know, just be very careful what you're, you know, what you're touching and what you're doing in those areas. I hope this video has been informative. Please do like, subscribe, share, hit that notification button. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thanks for watching.